everyone, welcome back my subscribers to another Sunday Speed Paint. Today's video is going to be about my birds. You guys hear these guys in the background all the time, so I thought I would do a speed paint. The speed paint was actually going to have two drawings uh, sped up, but um, the recording software that I had didn't record the first one of my two parakeets, so instead I'm just going to be drawing in the background my love bird, Tiki. Now, I want to go into some backstory here. I did not get these birds all at once. In fact, I got them one by one, each in different ears. The first one I had gotten was Sparky, who is a blue and white parakeet that I got probably about three years ago now. It's probably actually been four years. And he's the oldest bird that I have, and he's such a sweetie. I call him Sparky because when he is outside of his cage, he likes to dart around, and his first favorite thing he goes to is ceiling fans, or if he can grab onto any kind of ledge, whether it be an air ventilation or the blinds on my window. <laughs> so, uh... The second bird that I have is Sunshine, who is the second bird that I got as a Christmas gift because I kept begging my parents that I wanted. I was like, please, I just want one more parakeet. I want companions. I want two because I, I love birds, to be honest. Birds, colors, sounds, everything about them just fascinates me. And the loyalty and the things that birds can do that I see people have in videos takes a lot of time and dedication. And birds are no joke when it comes to having as pets because they are like children and I have three of them now uh, but with sunshine I got sunshine as a Christmas gift about two years ago so about a year apart from Sparky and uh, I call her sunshine because she looks kind of like she has a uh, sky on her her chest is blue and white and her face is yellow and when I did name my birds I was a lot younger I think I was still back in middle and high school <laughs> So it was fun just kind of seeing what my brain came up with back then in comparison to now, which was about a year and a half ago, I got Tiki, my third bird, which is a lovebird. Now you're probably wondering, well, why did you get a lovebird and not another parakeet? That was because Tiki kind of stole my heart when I went to my local pet shop. And the pet shop that I have here is different from my local, like, PetSmart or Petco because they don't put the bands around them. They raise the birds right there at different, like, uh, habitat home places where they raise them. And uh, I got Tiki, I think Tiki was a few months old when I got Tiki, and is now probably age-wise about two years old. I do not know what age and gender Tiki is, because the lady who I got him from said that uh, Tiki is a pied lovebird, which is a bird that can't reproduce. Um, I forget what it is with the genes in that, but um, it is un unfertilized uh, genetics. But that stuff aside, I love my birds so much. And uh, though you guys hear a lot of the stuff in the background and the noise, I wouldn't change it for the world because they are, they're just, I, I can't describe how much joy it brings to me when I wake up in the morning and I just hear them warbling and chirping and the noises that they make when they're happy when I'm playing music in the background that they like is so sweet. <laughs> and then when they hear stuff like the animation memes that I play, when the audio kicks up, they go crazy. You'll hear them chirp really loudly because they either really like it or don't like it. One of the things, though, with my birds is that they are not just birds that are easy to take care of. I do have three of them, so that means there's costs for the cage, for the food, the time that it takes to give them attention, and that's why I also, when I was younger, had gotten Sparky Companion, which was Sunshine, because I wanted them to have each other's company when I wasn't home when I was back in schooling. Now, I still have stuff that I do that takes my time away from them, but I still give them their space in the room, which is why you hear them in the backgrounds during my videos, is because I spend about a good hour or two with them outside of their cage in my room, which I'll show you guys a little clip of what you guys would see on a regular basis in my room here at the end of the video so that you guys can understand what they look like too instead of just the illustration that you see on screen here. Now, if you're curious to know more about these guys and want to see more, like maybe when I do my DIY toys for them because Tiki and uh, Sunshine love to chew through things, like when I get them their toys, they tear them to pieces, but that's a good sign because when they tear them to pieces, it means that it's their favorite toys. I've only gotten them two toys that they don't like, and that's usually like really thick pieces of wood or those like plastic bells. They don't really like them for some reason. They like the noise they make, but they just don't use them. Other than that, if you guys are interested in seeing and hearing more about my birds, and any other stories of pets that I used to have, then feel free to comment down below and let me know by joining the Subscribler Squad, by pushing your pause to that subscribe, like, and notification button, share this video with your friends if they're pet lovers or bird lovers. And thank you all so much for watching, remember to stay possum, and I'll see you all in the next video.